What is going on YouTube? It is the one, the only, Chris Phoenix. And uh, as you guys see by the title, this is my WrestleMania 28 predictions. And uh, as you guys know, WrestleMania is this Sunday on pay-per-view. And um, honestly, this pay-per-view looks pretty damn good on, on paper. You know, it looks like a pretty mass, pretty stacked card. It seems like every match has, you know, kind of, how do I say this? Kind of like a meaning to it. You know, I know some people are saying, oh, this would be the best WrestleMania since 19. Oh, this would be the best WrestleMania since 17. I ain't going that far. I am not going that far. Because that's kind of like, you know, remember when I said back in the, I think I've said this in the past, that, you know, you kind of leave the past alone. Leave it alone. Do not mention that. All right? Good. All right, but. Anyway, WrestleMania should be good. Should be good. Um, got eight matches on the card. Supposedly, there's a rumor that Brutus Clay might have a match. Yeah, a squash match. No the WWE, they would do that. I mean, hell, Brutus Clay had one at Wrestle uh, not WrestleMania, Royal Rumble. Remember that? Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's start this off, shall we? Let's start off with the Divas match. Kelly Kelly and Maria Menounos. Some people say Marono. They can't say your last name. You know, she's like Greek. Kelly Kelly. Yeah, Kelly Kelly and Maria Menounos versus the Divas champion Beth Phoenix and uh, the big booty bitch, I like to call her, Eve Torres. Yeah, she looks good to me. Alright, so this match, I'm not saying I'm totally into this. You know, I'm not, really. I mean, I understand from WWE standpoint, obviously, you want to bring a celebrity in there. I guess this is their celebrity. You know, she's on Dancing with the Stars. Now, apparently, she's her. She has, like, two broken ribs or something like that from Dancing with the Stars. She's like, how did I get hurt? All I did was play basketball and football and all that, and now, all of a sudden, I'm hurt. Well, I guess she learned the hard way that dancing's not easy. Um, So, yeah. Honestly, when was the last time a celebrity lost at WrestleMania? If it's ever happened, it's been a while. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I see. I see basically seeing Kelly doing most of the work. You know, I guess you see on the face team, and then Maria Menounos just gets in there and gets the pent up. It's kind of like what Snooki did. Like Snooki didn't really do all that much last year, and all of a sudden she gets to pick the pin. I can see her pinning. Uh, I want to say, honestly, she pinned Pep. I'm being pissed off. I can see her. Hopefully, she'll pin like E or someone. I think she'll pin E. And then one, two, three. You win. There's Maria Menounos and Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. So, I think Kelly Kelly and Marie Moon was for one. Next, you have a match that, uh, on paper, I know not many people care about this match, but this should actually be a good match. Especially since this man is now, uh, gonna be in the Marine 3. Yeah, apparently he's gonna be in the Marine 2, but he got injured, and so they got Ted Biasi for shits and giggles. Now, he's now confirmed to be a Marine, Marine 3. Yes, that's right. Randy Keith Orton. Randall Keith Orton. One and only Randy Orton. Versus... A guy who's also been in a movie. I think you guys remember the movie Big Evil? Yeah. Yeah. Remember that movie? Yeah. No. no. Same here. I don't. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, so anyway, Randy Orton versus Kane. Uh, this match, again, it should be good. You know, again, most people aren't into this feud because, you know, Randy Orton's had the majority, I guess you could say, control. It seems like every time Ran uh, Kane is out there, oh, here comes Randy Orton with an RKO. You know, that's what it seems like so far in this feud. But again, should be a good match. Uh, if I had to pick a victor, the winner, well, let's see. It's at WrestleMania. And what do you know? On April Fool's Day, whose birthday is it in the WWE? I know, I know, I know. Who is it? Randy Orton's. That's right, it's Randy Orton's birthday at WrestleMania. So, yeah, I think Randy Orton's going to win, guys, at WrestleMania. But it should be a good match, so, yeah. Next, we got the... This match I'm actually looking forward to. Team Teddy versus Team, you know, Johnny, Johnny Ace, you know, John Leonidas. John Leonidas. Um, you guys already know the members of the team. What the go? It's like six on six. Uh, you know, it should be, I think, a good match, and I think hopefully WWE will give uh, both both these teams time. You know, it'd be kind of cool to see that if they do get a lot of time. Uh, it's kind of see. This is interesting because this match can go either way. You know, a lot of these matches, you know, have kind of like a swerve in them. Like, they could go either way. This one's kind of like one of them. Because you could... I could see Team Teddy winning. You know, just because, oh, it's a face. Teddy Long is like, oh, we're going to give it all. But apparently, you know, WWE 
might want Tay Long to be off television for a while or altogether. So it kind of leans toward maybe John Laurinaitis, you know, Team John Laurinaitis. And I can actually see Team Johnny, you know, winning. It may be a guy like The Miz or a guy like uh, Drew McIntyre. Or maybe, hell, maybe a guy like Jack Swagger or, you know, um, Dolph Ziggler. You know, some guy that's kind of like either in a losing streak lately or it's just like, okay, he's got, I don't know what to say this, he's gotten a push and then all of a sudden he just went, mm, and then it's like, okay, now he's kind of like, like one of those, like the flat lines that you see like at the freaking hospitals, like you see the person's alive, like, eh, eh, eh. yeah, it's kind of like that. Uh, so it could go either way. Um, my guess, I would go with Team John Lee, Johnny, Team John Leonidas, I think will win. Even though I will not be surprised if Team Teddy does win. Next, you have uh, the icy title match between The Big Show. And and he's not dashing, but he is Cody Rhodes. And uh, this is kind of an interesting match. This is kind of another match to go either way, believe it or not. I actually thought originally maybe Cody would win because Big Show is a guy that usually lets people go over, especially at WrestleMania. I mean, hell, whenever there's a, you know, a male celebrity at WrestleMania, who does... Uh, who does he usually go over? The Big Show. And, you know, obviously Cody Rhodes has mentioned that in this feud. And this feud, speaking of this feud, this feud's actually been pretty interesting. I like it so far. Um, and I think this is kind of like, Cody, no pun intended, Cody's biggest challenge. Again, no pun intended. Uh, you know, defending the IC title. So it should be a good match. Um, who do I think will win? I don't know. I'm going to stay with Cody, but I could see actually Big Show winning it. And the reason why I can see the Big Show winning it is okay. Let's face it, guys. The Big Show doesn't have that many years left in the tank, probably, in him. You know, he's probably going to retire in a few years. So, I think WWE might think, okay, maybe the Big Show needs, you know, a WrestleMania moment. He's not really had a WrestleMania moment, like a victory, at least, a WrestleMania moment. So, this could kind of be it for him. Um, no, I don't ca count that Show Miz. Uh, you know, remember when they took on Morrison and Archie a few years ago? I don't think that was really considered a WrestleMania moment, but... Anyway, it should be a good match. And I won't be surprised if the Big Show wins, but I'm going to go with Cody Rhodes. And also, if the Big Show does win, it gives Cody Rhodes something else to do. Instead of the IC title, maybe WWE can sneak him in that main event picture. Hell, you know, if, let's just say, Sheamus wins that world title, I won't be surprised maybe if Cody Rhodes, later down the road, uh, Rhodes down the road, I know, uh, gets a title shot. So, yeah. And then we have, speaking of a title shot, and speaking of Sheamus, the world title championship match. Daniel Bryan versus the Celtic Warrior fella. Seamus. Uh, the Great White. Yeah. He's not a shark, but okay. Um, so then we... Okay, the World Time match. This match should be good. And I know people are like, I don't care about this match. This match is like no feud. What's wrong with you? I actually care about this match. This match looks good on paper. And these guys could put a good match. They put a good matches before. And you're thinking, oh wait, didn't they have this match at like a dark match last year at WrestleMania 27? They did. And then Tay Long came out and said, hell, let's make it a freaking battle royal. Let's make it a tag team match. Alright, but seriously. Um, this should be a good match. You know, and I wonder what will happen in this match. So, you know, I and I honestly, you want know to see what's happening? I can see Daniel Bryan getting all cocky and shit. I don't know where AJ's, like, at the ring row trying to help, like, Daniel Bryan win. Because Daniel Bryan's been helping AJ win lately. And, like, Daniel Bryan's like, shut up. Get down or something. And then, like, AJ slaps him in the face. And bit, and then uh, Sheamus hits the uh, bro kick right in front of AJ on Daniel Bryan. And then he pins him. That's what I could see happening. AJ turning on Daniel Bryan and then he loses the world title. That's what I could see. By the way, guys, if this WrestleMania uh, rating is not what expected, kind of like a Survivor Series, don't be surprised if Daniel Bryan gets, like, the heat type of deal. Kind of like how The Miz got the heat. Because, let's see, you can't blame him on CM Punk because he's not, like, on a breakfast club. You can't pair, you can't uh, blame Sheamus because he's, like, Triple H's, like, favorite child, I guess you'd say. Uh, you can't blame freaking, oh, you're definitely not going to blame John Cena or The Rock. So, yeah, who's the odd man out of that? Oh, yeah, and not going to blame Jericho. I mean, seriously. Jericho's done too much for this company. All right, you're going you're gonna to blame him? You are not going to blame him. You're crazy. Anyway, 
I do think Sheamus will win, and I think he will become the new World Heavyweight Champion. Okay, and then we got the WWE title match between CM Punk versus Chris Jericho. Yeah, the battle of the best in the world. Best in the world what he does, and his best in the world. The WWE Championship. Now, since apparently rumor is Jericho is going to continue and go on his Fozzy tour after Mania, apparently... And, you know, let's face it, you know, it should be a good match, an entertaining match. I've kind of liked the feud. Most people haven't liked the feud. I still kind of enjoyed it. Could have they done more with this feud? Yes, they could have. I agree with that. But to me, I just think it's an okay feud. It ain't too bad. Um, so, yeah, I think, again, it should be a good match. But I honestly think Punk is going to win just because, okay, Jericho's been in this company for so long. Honestly, I think maybe WWE should have let Jericho win at the Chamber. So that Punk also, not not just because this whole Jericho using, you know, Punk's family as kind of like a, a main tool in this feud. Also that Punk could be chasing uh, Jericho for the WWE Championship. You know, you get what I'm saying? So, you know, that would have made it a little bit more interesting. It may be kind of like a throwaway, not a throwaway pay-per-view, but, you know, a conclusion, a rubber match. At like an extreme rule with like a ladder match or something. I don't know. But I do think Punk's going to win and retain the WWE Championship. And then we finally get to this match. A match that I'm really looking forward to. I'm not, I don't think many people are not looking forward to this match. Undertaker versus God. That's right. Undertaker versus Triple H with also and also Shawn Michaels, special guest referee in a hell in a cell. That's right, hell in a cell, guys. Let the memory Okay, every time I see that freaking promo. Alright, but anyway. Of course, God and Taker have the best match, and the, not the best match, but the best freaking song, theme song for the match. But, uh, yeah, this match should be obviously good. You know, when you think of Hell in a Cell, who do you think of? Triple H and Undertaker, so it fits perfectly. Uh, and as people haven't been a huge fan of Shawn Michaels being a special guest referee, they're thinking, oh, no, they don't need it. You know, but at the same time, it's like, okay, it kind of adds more, a little bit more twist. You know, and again, this could go either way. Seriously. You know, Shawn Michaels could switch in, you know, Triple H. He could do the same thing to freaking Undertaker. And I swear, if God wins, I'm slamming my head to the freaking wall. I hell, I don't say I'm not gonna say if I'm gonna make a main review because I probably will. But hell, I'll make a live reaction, y'all, and slap my head to the freaking wall. Seriously, I know if Triple H wins, it's like history. But of all people, God, God to end the streak. I know Taker wants the streak to end. You know, but seriously, God, what? No, not God. Hell, I'd rather have Cena freaking end the streak than God. God, you've done enough, all right? Your ego ain't that. Is it really that big? I know it's big, but seriously, dude, no. All right, though, I seriously, it could go either way, but honestly, I see Taker win it. Hopefully, Taker does win. I think he will retain the streak. And last but not least, I know this video's going along. Forgive me. Uh,. John Cena versus The Rock. You know, the whole, you know, how do I say this? This whole dream match. You know, a match that we probably said a few years ago. Damn, I hope this match happens. But it's going to happen. And think about it, guys. If this this match has build-up. You know, I talked about how, you know, Taker, Triple H, that has build-up, of course. You know, a year in build-up. This also has a year in build-up, guys. This match this match has built-up since last year's Mania. The Rock, Rock, Bottom, Cena. And, you know, Cena and Rock were bashing each other on the mic and i know lately people complain oh it's getting stale uh rock and cena are saying the same thing you know about testicles and freaking penises and freaking uh oh you left the company i'm still here i've been here longer than you blah 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 i understand that but again this should be a good match honestly you know i think if cena wins on a freaking clean how do I say this? In a clean way? People are going to be pissed. People are going to be going like, what the fuck? Like, seriously, if Cena wins in a clean finish, they're going to be like, what? Exactly. Um, if Rock wins a clean finish, people won't complain. Honestly, if Cena wins, I think it has to be kind of, I don't know, a, I'm going to say a dirty win, but, you know, it's somewhere along those lines. Uh, it's, it's hard to know who wins, but, again, I won't be surprised if Cena wins, but... Honestly, I'm going my gut feeling, and I think The Rock, believe it or not, is going to win. I think The Rock will win at WrestleMania to end the show. Because apparently, also, guys, they might want to do two other matches. One at SummerSlam, one at next year's, and yeah. Anyway, that's it for me, you guys. Hope you enjoyed my WrestleMania 28th prediction.
Hope you enjoy the show, and uh, later.